Now that we know what homeostasis is, we need to know what affects homeostasis. So things within our control affect homeostasis or our, our body's ability to maintain balance. It's our lifestyle and our diet. Things that are beyond our control that can affect homeostasis are genetics though. Genetics are things that we've inherited from a parent or maybe both parents. Lifestyle. Um, one of the things for our lifestyle is exercise. A lack of exercise slows digestion and promotes a poor absorption of nutrients in our large intestine. This poor digestion causes constipation. Lack of exercise also constricts or closes our blood vessels. Therefore, we have an increased risk of heart disease if we don't um, have a little bit of exercise in our lives. There's a greater risk of becoming overweight, and there's an increased risk of joint disorders like arthritis. So exercise is very important lifestyle choice. Substance abuse is another one of our lifestyle choices. Smoking and drugs are the ones that we're looking at here. So smoking, um, and this is specifically about nicotine, so vaping would fall into this same category. Um, they temporarily increase our blood pressure while we are smoking. Um, it decreases the oxygen available to our heart. This can cause indigestion and heartburn as well. And there's an increased risk of heart attacks, respiratory problems, and cancer attributed to smoking. Two different types of drugs, so stimulants and depressants. So stimulate, stimulants increase the rate of our cell functions, and that would speed up our heart rate. Depressants decrease the rate of our cell functions, slowing down our heart rate. Both of these can cause changes in sleep, anxiety, loss of appetite, dehydration, nausea, vomiting, basically disrupting our body's systems. Diet is another thing that we have control over. A diet that is high in cholesterol and fat uh, makes it harder for our digestive system to digest those foods. Cholesterol and fat also clog our blood vessels and it's because they deposit in their arteries, making our heart work harder, and this causes a higher blood pressure. Cholesterol can also cause gallstones. So these are in our gallbladder. People who have gallstones likely have a, high, a diet high in cholesterol and fat. Oftentimes, or sometimes, sorry, um, if a patient has lots of gallstones or is very prone to them, they'll remove their gallbladder, which affects our digestion of cholesterol and fat. So people without a gallbladder must watch their diet more carefully, limiting the intake of cholesterol and fat. Obesity can be tied to our diet, but it can also be related to genetics. So obesity can be caused by overeating or eating specific foods, likely ones high in cholesterol and fat. Large portions can cause heartburn, where some of our digestive juices um, kind of work their way into our esophagus. Obesity um, can also result in high blood pressure, diabetes, heart disease, um, all of those things are risks. Practice on page 221, number one, two, and three of our Science Connect textbook.